Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video might be seen and shared. Sling Driver once again, uh, bringing to you another unboxing and review of a watch that uh, is not mine. Uh, once again, I was uh, uh, given the opportunity to review this watch. Uh, this watch came via a um, subgroup of, uh, of YouTube uh, watch reviewers that are all attached to the Random Rob um, uh, Discord group, Discord channel, or server, or whatever it's called. And uh, this is another one of those watches. This one is a Perrin. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. P-E-R-E-N Perrin. Very interesting um, packaging. Um, uh, the uh, black on black, uh, you know, printing on the black case. Obviously, it's a little shinier, so you can actually read it. It's very interesting. Um, on the uh, inner, uh, after you get out of the sleeve, on the top of the box, it says "perennial product inside." I really don't know what that means. I mean, it's not like it needs a perennial calendar or anything. You flip that open and you have a, um, a little cover. Well, first of all, you have this um, uh, mission statement. It says, Perrin is a brand which does not have a beginning, not an end, for it was not invented, nor was it conceived. Now... Given my personal nature uh, with respect to such new age babble, <laughs> uh, normally I would uh, make a comment about that and go off on a, a pithy tangent about um, that, uh, whatever the hell you want to call it. But uh, I'm just going to skip it and leave it with... Um, Oh, please. Uh, and then finally, you get to this cover on top of the watch. It says Transylvania, which is uh, where the watch is uh, origin, originating from. And finally, we get to the watch itself, which is stored away inside a nice little custom uh, cutout foam uh, lining. And we get to the, uh, the watch. Um... It is uh, a Perrin uh, Nera is the um, is the specific model name, and I guess it's supposed to be a dive watch or a dive style watch. Although, you know, with the um, indices for the for the bezel on the outside of the uh, bezel, it really hinders its use as a dive watch also the bezel doesn't line up very well or at least didn't for me maybe I just turned it too far still doesn't line up very well I guess anyway very pretty watch though once you get past that it's kind of a plasticky feeling thing I'm not sure if it is plastic or not uh, no, it's a BVD, a PV, it's black PVD coat on uh, metal, so my bad. No um, indices on the flat side of the bezel where it would obviously be more useful. Uh, but it does give a clean look. You have a signed uh, crown. Exhibition case back. screw down uh, case back as well screw down uh, screw down crown it's unscrewed right now because I just uh, I'll just screw it back in there you go very nice is as I said a very clean looking watch very clean dial it's a simple three hander with a date window at the three o'clock uh, nice deep kind of a green uh, color to it drilled lugs on the case the case is a 
is very is very smooth to the touch. It has that nice satiny finish to it. It almost looks blasted, but when you touch it, you realize it, it's not blasted. It's just a satin finish. Genuine leather uh, strap. Unfortunately, it's still quite stiff at the moment, but it, it, it will loosen up over time. It feels like almost like a baseball glove. Um, and uh, it wears pretty big. Uh, for its size, I'll get to the measurements in a minute, but with the long lugs like it has, it does wear uh, pretty long on the wrist. I'm going to put it on now. Give you a wrist shot, get that for you. And as I said, the strap still is quite stiff, even though I was wearing it before. But as you can see on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, um, the lugs being long, uh, span my wrist very nicely in the, uh, down the barrel shot, but on the overhead shot, you can see it looks, it looks pretty small. And it is, it is not a big watch, but, uh, it, it does, um, it does fit my wrist fairly well. It, it's a watch dial and face that could be worn by someone with a fairly small wrist, but those long lugs might limit that. And then you have this, you know, I mean, it's a nice looking buckle, but it's ridiculously oversized in comparison to the watch itself. I mean, I mean look at that. It's just, you know, it, 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 it's, it's very strange. The, the watch is very strange in some ways. Not really a big fan of a buckle that big on a watch this small. We'll go over the um, specs here real quick. I have them on my uh, sheet of facts here. Um, the uh, Perrin Nera, it is a limited edition uh, watch. This one happens to be number 163. I know it says that somewhere on the case here. Not sure where, maybe you can see it, but my eyes are not the greatest. And looking through a camera uh, screen, looking through an iPhone screen, not helping me. <laughs> anyway, I measured this at 39 and a half millimeter diameter. I measured it at a 48.75 millimeter on the tip to tip. Uh, 20 millimeter uh, measurement on the lug width. I really didn't have to measure it because it's right there on the strap. And 14.3 millimeters thick. You have uh, sapphire crystals front and back. They're both flat, of course. 200 meter water resistant. So it is, it, 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 it's definitely swimmable, snorkel dive even um i don't think this bezel in terms of being a dive bezel is going to do you any favors uh because of the lack of indices where they can be quickly and easily seen and underwater where the light is not so good a black um indice on a black bezel uh that's not going to help you out very much so not what i i'd say a sports watch to be sure um, but not a dive watch. Uh, you have a uh, 316L stainless steel case and 316L buckle, genuine leather strap signed. Well, if I hold it up right, correctly, signed genuine leather, very nice. The movement inside is a Swiss movement. This is a Salida SW200. Um, you do have some small amount of decoration on the rotor, a little, uh, Geneva striping there, or what they call Cote de Genève. Uh, the rest of the movement is pretty much unadorned. Um, but Swiss movement. And I've had many watch with, watches with, uh, 
SW200s in them. They run fine. They're, um, they're good, solid movements. They don't really give a lot of problems. Um, one thing I do like about the watch um, is the second hand. I love the arrow second hand. You don't see that very much anymore. Just a, 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 It looks like a, an arrow out of an archery uh, uh, quiver. Uh, I think that's a nice look to it. I, I didn't um, know how much I like one. I liked a, a, a second hand like that until I actually finally saw one, and uh, I like it. And like I say, it's it's a very very clean looking watch, and uh, very minimalist. Very um, uh, you know, just. Not a lot to uh, not a lot to distract you from actually just glancing at it and telling the time. Uh, it's really good looking piece. I, I have no um, no um, objections to the way it looks. I, I just I think this is a little silly. <laughs> it could be half this size and still do its job properly. But uh, other than that, good looking watch, pretty decent looking packaging. Uh, we could do without the uh, nonsense on the top of the lid, but if that's what the company wants to put there, that's what the company's going to put there. So, if uh, you're looking for a, uh, a sports watch that's very clean, uh, very simple, uh, this is definitely something to take a look at. I will, of course, leave a link to their website um, at the, in the uh, description so you can go take a look and see if it's something you want to uh, get uh, on its way to you. Meanwhile, if you found the video to be uh, useful and uh, entertaining and informative, I'd appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button for me. That does help with the YouTube search algorithms and thus uh, helps bring uh, new users to the channel, which um, all about that. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you are going to troll me on my own YouTube channel, I will just delete the comment and I will block you. Um, if you're new to the channel, of course, uh, welcome. I'm certainly glad you found the place. Uh, before you leave, uh, please uh, click the subscribe button for me. And when you do, click that bell icon next to it so that when I upload new videos, which I try to do as often as I can, you will be alerted to their releases. And when I go, go and do live streams, which I do every Wednesday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, or whenever uh, other uh, times during the week uh, become available to me and I have the time to do them, you, when I go live, you will be alerted as well. Uh, meanwhile, in this crazy old world, as usual, I bid you stay safe, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you soon.